how to apply thermal paste to your CPU. This is one of the most heated, no pun intended, debates in the PC enthusiast community. You have your classics like the P or the X. Do you like to get creative with it? Are you a blobber or a spreader? I mean, sure, we could hit Reddit, Google it, even read the instructions. All of that sounds boring AF. Why don't we just get an old CPU, some clear acrylics, press it and see for ourselves. So here's the basic setup, guys. We have an old Xeon CPU from the way back in the before times. By the way, I got this thing for eight bucks on eBay, so if you're looking to build an old server circa 2009, used market got you covered. We got some plastic acrylics. Uh, we even outlined the CPU on those so we can see the spread. We have a scale to make sure we're keeping the force consistent from each method. And I know before you go run to the comments, it's not the same PSI as what you're gonna see under your, co your cooler. I know heat changes the viscosity and it changes the spread, but I'm really just curious to see how much each method impacts the results. First up, we have the classic, the old reliable, the pea size drop in the middle. Let's get this on there. Might be a bit much for that. I'll do my best to apply pressure in the same way you would with your cooler, kind of a cross pattern, left, right, top, bottom. Pressure in the middle. There we go, we can see the results there. That is the P size drop. Let's clean off the CPU and reset. I'm gonna keep each one of these acrylics until the end so we can kind of compare results. We have our old reliable Arctic wipes, which if you've watched previous videos, I assure you they still smell as fantastic as always. All right, guys, let's move on to method number two, the X, another one of the all time populars. Many people swear by it. Let's check this thing out. Again, we'll press that. Try and give it consistent force. Hold it for a second. Not bad, um, a little bit of seepage over the sides, but I would say it's better than the P method in the middle. So we asked our community for feedback if they had any creative ones they wanted to see and somebody commented that they'd like to see a hashtag. So by community request, let's do our best to make a hashtag or a pound symbol if you're old school. Oh, that's a little hashtag messy. Not bad coverage a lot of seepage over the side. So I don't know if hashtag is the method that we're gonna to wanna to go with. There was a lot of seepage over the sides on that one. So take a second to clean up the CPU. Um, 
I don't know if hashtag is what we're gonna wanna do. Let's move on. Time to get a little creative. Let's see if a smiley face can keep your CPU happy. Not the best smiley face in the world. Not terrible coverage there. Uh, a little bit of seepage over the sides. Not the cleanest method. And there is a lot of excess left over. And finally, we're gonna go with my favorite method, uh, but probably the one I see the most debate over, the spread. Is it worth the extra effort? Does it cause a lot of seepage over the sides? Let's see, we'll get a little bit on the CPU. And I don't have a spatula to spread this out with. So I'm gonna use a guitar pick. Spread this nice and thin. I mean, one of the complaints, and I can definitely attest to it, is it is a lot of extra work. So if you don't really see better results, it's not worth it. Let's go ahead and press this thing, see what we get. For my money, I mean, that is the cleanest application. Um, very little seepage over the side very little wasted. But I don't know, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is it worth the effort? I mean, it clearly took a lot longer to do than the other methods. So let me know down in the comments, guys. What do you think? Is it is it worth it to do that? Is it a waste of time? You know, our methodology isn't perfect. So there you have it, guys. We have the dot, the X, the smiley face, which performed clearly the most poorly, the spread and the hashtag. Are any of these your methods? Do you have a different way you like to apply your thermal paste? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, don't forget to check out one of these. Make sure you like, subscribe, check out some of our other content. And as always, thanks for watching.